Ready where you are. I met this guy in school performing art. I have seen him grow from stage to stage. I'm proud of him, and today he's performing. Ben, so what did happen? Ah, I did. Oh, I did. Now, they are supposed to know that my first ever production was directed by Edinate. Slow for me as level 100. He gave my first opportunity on the stage, and ever since then, you know, the rest is history. Trust me, I haven't regretted because I saw the potential in you. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the opportunity. You and General Antetia have formed BP Entertainment. What started BP Entertainment? Uh, you know, uh, BP Entertainment it started from way back in University of Ghana. You know, uh, when we came to level 100, it was Nyan Sapo. We are aware of that. And then we went under the wings of Nyan Sapo and uh, we got experience from there, from one level to the other. So uh, after school, we started two idiots productions. So it was a two idiots production. And we said, ah, how can you be two idiots in Ghana production? You're supposed to, you know, rebrand it a little bit. So that was when we rebranded from two idiots productions to PB Entertainment. And we've been producing theater plays ever since then. Like for, I think, since 2015 or 2016. Yeah. If I count, if I can, if my number serves me right, you've done six plays. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you did four on your own. You've done two in collaboration with um, um, Cartel Multimedia. What inspired you or what brought about the collaboration? Um, okay, um, a cartel uh, multimedia, uh, a cartel is a, a man who has a lot of passion for the arts. So uh, when he he met most of the boys, you know, like I, I, I don't live in Ghana anymore. I live in Germany now. So uh, he met with Boss Joy, he met with this Mark the Joke in general. He told him about this beautiful thing that he wants to do for theatre uh, productions. And then General also came and he spoke to me and I said that, oh, okay, it's going to be a fantastic thing for us to collaborate with C uh, a cartel, at least the first three or four uh, productions so that maybe after that, um, a cartel multimedia can do a production on his own. So we are just you know assisting and showing the process of how the theater business is being run so i think that by in the next four or five collaborations i mean they will actually have a grip of how the theater production works and we will just uh, you know step aside but we'll still be acting and uh, partnering with him but not as major collaborators as a cartel in collaboration with pb entertainment i think we need to give cartel a big ups because a lot of people don't support the art and so for us to have somebody who wants to support the art and say we will push money into stage production and help these talent shine big ups to cartel uh, my guy why atai well uh we wanted to do something for our gun people you know, um, we have done all the plays. We've done Man in the Dark. We've done Love is Politics. We've done Course 90. We've done Okohoko Year Day. So I uh, and myself, you know, uh, we were sitting down and then the title just came, Atai, the Jamestown Gangster. Uh, uh, we are also, you know, lovers of, you know, such stories. So we said, hey, let's just do something. Um, a, a typical um, compound house experience in the Ghan communities because uh, I am from Otublo home in Jamestown. General is an Ashanti, but he has he has lived in Jamestown for quite a long time uh, for I think all, probably all his life. So some of the things which are going on in Jamestown that we think that we can educate the youth on, we brought it. So this play, you know, it talks about HIV AIDS, uh, it talks about teenage pregnancy, it talks about illegal abortions. And one of the most important thing is that it talks about Atai who is a criminal, but then everybody's Atai because of the way that he looks. But there are people who are in suits who are stealing from the country and economy and nobody seems to say anything about it. So that is what we are actually trying to say with Atai the Jamestown Gangster. Looks to say that it's a tie in every uh, sector. It's a tie in every sector. <laughs> a tie in every sector. But if you dress well, they will not see your attire-ness. <laughs> but if you dress like a gangster, they'll say, oh, yeah, this guy is a bad guy. Yes. Tell me, so what do you enjoy about stage productions? Well, uh, I enjoy the acting bit. I enjoy the production bit. And the excitement that, you know, your creative work is out there. In the public, it's an excitement. I, I, uh, for most of us, the excitement of, of just creating and acting, and it's, you just cannot explain it. It's, 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 it's just something that you cannot explain. It. But I hope that you know one day, I tell you, you will come back on the stage. We, 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 we hope that you come back. You, you have to, you have to, you have to come back on stage. You have to, you have to. When I interview people on screen, they say come back on screen. Stage two, they say come back on stage. The day I go come back here. Eh? President for can't watch me for stage oh, because I'm damn good. <laughs> Bro, I know how difficult it is to do stage production. Please run us through 
what does it come with in terms of finances what does it come with uh, it's very expensive theater is very 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 expensive and if you don't take care as a producer you actually don't make anything uh, there, are, uh, there are times that we can finish a production and we'll pay everybody and general myself will not make anything out, out of the production but the aim is that we want to keep this going we really want to keep uh, keep this going uh, but if you have a lot of sponsors who come in to help you with you know at least some 10,000 here some 10,000 here you can get it you can get a little money to cushion yourself but if you do not get it and you know the prices also jump so fast at first it was 60 uh, single 100 double and then we jump straight to 80 and then we jump straight to 100 and now some people are 150 and 200 so and we know the economy too I mean it is it is somehow expensive. For, for, for me, I think that it is somehow expensive, but that is where the market is right now. Tell us on BTS, how much can you use to produce a stage production? Well, uh, roughly uh, 70,000, 80,000. Wow. Roughly 70,000. And with this 70,000, 80,000, I'm not talking about what the producers are going to benefit, or, but I'm talking about, okay, 70 to 80,000. Do you know, pay theater, do marketing, pay your actors and pay your crew seventy to eighty thousand. So if you want to make profit, then you have to be looking at the okay, okay, yeah. Then for instance, the budget was about hundred thousand. Yeah, but we're able to just break even at the end of the uh, production. So you have to make about hundred thousand or hundred and twenty thousand to to actually break even or get something. And theater is expensive. And you know that if the budget is 100,000, every time you are going to do this thing, it has to be 100,000 every time. The same play even. So it's, it's, it's so expensive. It's so expensive. So share one experience with us. One fuck up experience on stage that you know that this one was a mess. <laughs> I remember the University of Ghana. Um, it has never happened to me before. I mean, I, I think I was in level 300 or level 400. Um, I have done so many productions. Uh, I got so much comfortable. Uh, the trial of Malam Elia. And I was playing the court crier. And it was a monologue. I was just supposed to come on stage and give this monologue. I was so relaxed. I mean, I've been so relaxed. I mean, I can never forget my lines. I mean, it, it, it just cannot be possible. And now I'm on stage and I've beaten the drama. Eh? And for the first time in my career, I was like blank. It was like it was blank, but then I just kept on saying anything because I just know that the guys don't know the script, so I just kept on saying, 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 saying. I just hit the drums and just left stage. That was, that was a time, actually, two times, uh, two times, two times. The first time was in level 100 at Santiman, and it was directed by JOT. Uncle Terry was the a choreographer, so we were soldiers, we were supposed to come and die, you know, in the battle, and then we died, okay. And we played it in the, in, the arena. in the arena. So then, every time when we die, during, during the entire rehearsals, when the light goes off, and then we stand up and then we go. So I think at night before the uh, uh, performance, Professor Martin also said that it is not nice that we have dead, like we have died, and then we stand up and go. So the soldiers who have survived must come back and take us out. It wasn't rehearsed, it was just something which was just said. So finally, the performance fight, 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 but then kill me. But the mistake I do, is as I die, my head go here. Where the rest of the people then die, then they here. So even if I open my eye, I don't see what's happening. So I did the stage top. Ah. Like one minute, nobody they can't take me. Ah. Like two minutes, nobody they can't take me. So in my mind, I was like, ah, are we sticking to the original plan? Or we are doing what Professor Watno said? I don't know. I heard a voice. I don't know whether it was in my head. Charlie, guys, stand up, then go. So as I stand up, no, where as he says still the people die. <laughs> where as I die again because I'm not gonna feel left the stage. <laughs> God, I can see. But the lucky thing we say, all the soldiers, them then they, they, they give you black powder for their face. So they don't know who do that. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, man. So I wish you all the best on stage. Definitely, I'll get to talk to you again and have fun. I love you so much. <laughs> My guy, stage be difficult. We'll see you soon. I think we have about 30 minutes to go on stage. See you on stage. <laughs>